This mission is called Syrian Gambit, and this mission, elements of uh, the 112 Panzer Grenadier Battalion, have to conduct um, counter reconnaissance operations against uh, Syrian reconnaissance units that are attempting to locate and spoil the main effort onto Aleppo. Starting off, I have two sections of recon operators and a team of forward observers. My plan is to quickly move to uh, an observation post position and then interdict enemy movements with fire. So right now I'm just scouting out some prominent hills that I can have superior line of sight from. So that's where I'm going to want to move. I'm going to quickly move my teams up to the base of those hills using the wolf uh, jeeps. I'm going to quickly move up, dismount, and then uh, stealthily position into an observation post. I'm not expecting any enemy forces in the AO at this time. So in that regard, I do have an advantage. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be running into enemy forces, or I don't really have to worry about approaching with um, tactical bounds or anything like that. Enemy forces are going to consist of. Uh, BRDMs and possibly BMPs. Those are um, mechanized infantry fighting vehicles. The BMP has a high explosive autocannon and uh, a Cold War era ATGM. And the BRDMs are basically scout cars. They go really fast. They have a heavy machine gun. But other than that, they don't pose much of a threat. It's also possible that some BRDMs equipped with AT5s may be present, and uh, they pose a massive threat to everything that I'm going to be, uh, everything that I'm going to have deployed. Uh, but the good thing about those is that they're at least they're easy to knock out. Uh, the BRDMs, that is. This terrain is troublesome, mainly because the furthest extent of the AO is shielded by a prominent hill. So I'm going to be countering enemy forces at ranges of sub 600 meters. Now, my original plan was to just simply stay in the reverse slope. Know, to stay behind the hill and set up OPs there. But the problem with that plan is that one of my mission objectives is to make sure that I'm not spotted by the enemy. And accordingly, I have to interdict the enemy forces before they go over the hill. Because if they spot my, uh, my main body of forces, then I'm going to fail the mission. I'm going to go ahead and dismount these teams. I'm going to sprint over to the um, little assembly area and crawl up to the observation post. And I'm, going to, I'm taking efforts to make sure that the vehicles are concealed. Here on the left flank, I'm putting them in this little ravine. I'm also going to face the vehicles towards my own forces this way. If I need to get out of there quickly, all I can do is hop in, 
hop in the uh, vehicles and then just basically press the gas. My reasoning for dismounting them is that they'd be less detectable and I'm expecting the enemy to, you know, well I'm not expecting them, they will have superior firepower and I won't have an, I don't have an answer for it, you know, I can't, I have no means by which to respond to it in, in a tactical situation. If they were to fire on me, I would be outgunned. Now, I do have air support, so that's definitely a force multiplier, but I have to be within close range to bring that to bear due to the terrain. So my hope is that I'll be able to interdict them and they won't spot me, and the speed and effectiveness of my forward observers will uh, more than compensate for relatively small amount of firepower I have right now. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving up uh, one of the teams in a uh, little defilade. Then I'm going to call them up to another OP. The reason for this is, is again, I'm trying to stay undetected. I don't know what's on the other side of the hill at this time. There could be a company of BRDMs there. There could be nothing there. Perhaps uh, worthy to note that each full-size squad of uh, recon troops actually has a Panzerfaust, so that will come in handy. I didn't have the foresight to actually check the jeeps to see if there was extra ordnance, uh, mainly because I didn't expect the enemy to be attacking me. But as we'll see, uh, things turned out quite differently than I expected, and, um, you know, the, the briefing is misleading, um, and I, I guess the tactical situation, you know, it can always be a surprise what occurs, but, and I guess I should, you know, take some hints of the mission name, but the briefing itself uh, just says that this is going to be a pretty low intensity little engagement here where we're going to try to, you know, pick off some reconnaissance elements that are trying to find what my main effort is. We'll see if that turns out to be the case. So, I found a exceptionally good OP. So I'm going to rush my uh, forward observers over there. I already had an OP planned. I already had two OPs planned. But this one spots a 300 meter stretch of the road. So it's definitely worth it. All this little jockeying here just to make sure that I'm getting in the best position as far as line of sight is concerned. Some of these units here are actually out of command. Uh, you can you can figure that out by when you click on the unit, the unit above them will be in red and the little war bat on the bottom left of the unit display. Well, that's 
it's not a particular problem in this case. Because these guys are... I'm not expecting these guys to be engaged or to really engage enemy. But it would be a problem if there's some heavy fighting going on here. Sorry for this little stall. <laughs> that was um, likely to be a shitload of enemies spawning into the map. And now we have our first contact, a BMP-1 along the MSR. Fortunately, my forward observers, the ones that are, you know, especially skilled at calling in casts, are not in position yet. I'm going to call in. I'm going to call it in anyway. Stand by for catch or crit. This is actually a pretty critical situation here because uh, my OPs are not in position yet and I wasn't ready for this. The result is going to be me calling in fire missions and cast requests from teams that are not really trained to do so. So they're going to be pretty ineffective and also the delay in the time between when my OPs are well established and, um, and when I'm sort of Stand trying by. to gas establish them is going to allow the enemy to penetrate Roger. pretty quickly to into uh, my line and pose a direct threat to my recon operators here. You see here that the BMPs that are on the road are, I now lost visual contact with them. They, the last time I saw them, they were barreling down the MSR. Definitely not a good sign. This BMP, the one that I was just looking at, is... 300 meters away from my OP, and I'm going to start striking with artillery. But again, these teams are not these teams are not trained forward observers, so they're it's going to take a long while, take a long while, and be ineffective. So my forward observers are finally in position. I'm going to go ahead and great, great, great. Abort, abort, abort. I'm going to go ahead and cancel uh, the cash request that was done by the team across the, the valley. Uh, the reason for that is is that the forward observer can call it in much more effectively. Meanwhile, while that cash request is being canceled, um, another platoon of BMPs just arrived. And they are less than 300 meters away from my teams on the right side. Feuer Anforderung, come in. At attack position, increase the target. BMPs continue to barrel towards my OP. Um, it's likely that there'll be contacts imminently. I'm going to call in a super dangerous close cast run. Roger, cleared hot. Roger, en route to attack position. So we're going to see here the squad is going to get engaged by that BMP. Next. 
position, he pressed the target. So, the attack shoppers are finally on station. And they are firing hellfires into various armored contacts that are coming in. Uh, now, the BMP fires upon my OP, so I'm going to return fire with a Panzerfaust and then egress immediately. Panzerfaust is spot on. BMP destroyed. Time to egress immediately. Well, the second Apache should be arriving momentarily for that danger close gas run. Roger, cleared off. And at this point, I'm starting to panic because. You know, this is clearly not um, enemy reconnaissance units, this is an attack. And it's a serious attack. There's, I've, already sp I've already spotted a company plus of armored vehicles. And there's a of armored vehicles vanguarding. They typically followed by a large body of armor, including tanks. So now, my recon teams on the right are engaging. Engaging the BMPs there, they did Roger. so without up. ordering them to fire. On target. But can't Ready blame them the because the, the BMPs are less than 200 meters away. Roger, cleared off. It's going to tell them to hide behind the wall. They're in a pretty safe position as long as the BMPs don't roll up on them. Uh, the section over there still has one Panzerfaust shot. Feueranforderungen kommen. Five Roger, a route to attack position. Now, a large body of armor has arrived. Another platoon of BMPs and at least one tank. Probably more, although my vision is obscured. T 72Ms. Feuer einstellen! Feuer einstellen! Ready to engage. Roger, clear top. Issuing several very ineffective and abortive uh, fire missions here on enemy armored contacts. Uh, the problem is that I'm losing sight on the armored contacts. Ready to engage. Uh, is there maybe advancing out of line of sight? Roger. Clear time. Fire on Fulton and Funkin in the attack position. Big rest of target. What I probably should have been doing here is I probably should have been calling in linear fire missions on the MSR rather than trying to get individual targets. But I thought I was going to be overrun, so I was trying to call in accurate fire on the lead armored elements. Well, the helicopter that had been called over cast and did rocket rounds on the hill where my OP was. Uh, that leads me to believe that there are armored contacts danger close to the OP. Now I'm calling in some casts where I suspect the armored contacts may have gone to, 
sort of guessing that they passed that threshold and they are now uh, cresting the hill leading towards uh, my forces position. Roger, 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 Now the first platoon, uh, first platoon observer section has arrived. These guys are ready to engage. Achtung, Aufschlag, At this point, Roger. I figure Here, my forces are going to get overrun. I don't even Abgefeuer. consider the Come objective of not being Abgefeuer. spotted. Ende. I'm just going to rush these guys in as. Um, basically a relief force and try to try to secure my position. Aufschlag, coming. Aggressing from target. Aufschlag, Ende. They also came with a forward observer team. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that forward observer. He's going to observe the MSR that is currently uh, out of sight. Abgefeuert, come in. Abgefeuert, in the. Wirkung schießen, come in. Verstanden, Wirkung schießen. Achtung, Aufschlag, come in. Ermittelschießwerte, come in. Wirkung schießen, come in. Verstanden, Wirkungsschießen, Ende. Feuer einstellen, Feuer einstellen, Feuer einstellen, Feuer einstellen! Cancel is an accurate fire Meanwhile, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, this is sort of like the uh, Alamo sort of scenario here. Um, I'm just loading up all these uh, Panzer Grenadiers with. Um, as many Panzerfaust as they can carry. I'm just emptying out the martyrs, um, equipping them with as many rounds as I can possibly scrounge. I'm going to move them up on the left flank, and they're going to uh, ensure that the forward observers there do not get encircled and destroyed. And they're also going to spoil the attack there and strengthen the flank generally. Now, I now notice that there's BMPs that have broken through on the left and are circling my OPs. Uh, my only hope now is that they won't be brazen enough to actually go up on the OPs and assault my positions because I have very little uh, defensive abilities against them. Stand by for gas request. Roger, en route to attack position. This is very haphazard movement here. I probably shouldn't be moving in a column, I should probably be moving in a line, and I should probably be using uh, traveling overwatch. But um, Ready I don't engage. have the luxury of safety. I need to get those guys there as quickly as possible. Roger. Cleared home. Because uh, enemy armored forces are about 200 meters away from my OPs and about to overrun them. So the best I can do is just set up a very restrictive firing arc where the BMP is, get those martyrs into position, get them in a battle position, and then assault online with this down position. Right? have made contact. Aggressing some target. Now that we're in such close contact, I'm going to get my tune into a 3-up T. 
dismount the infantry and get them clear of the vehicles just so the vehicles can start slugging it out with those BMPs. And also hopefully the infantry can uh, get an aim point of the BMPs and kill them before um, an armored fight is necessary. I've come to sort of trust the killing power of the Panzerfaust and the accuracy. And I know that the BMP-1s are very inaccurate and very poor at spotting enemy. <laughs> and speak of the devil, I kill that BMP before it's able to spot me. The command martyr in the rear of the, of the T is going to be watching the uh, right flank, providing flank security. Um, the platoon leader and the sniper team are just going to be providing general overwatch. Deal with spotting any uh, approaching contacts. Ready to engage. Roger, clear top. Stand by for gas request. Abgefeuert, come in. Roger, up to the with tech position. At a tech position, first of all. This is sort of a predicament here. There's two more BMPs that have that are uh, moving to encircle my OPs, and I don't have an aim point on them. Well, they're skylining, I just can't get a sight of them. So I'm going to use the infantry. The infantry are going to push forward and uh, interdict those forces. Achtung, Aufschlag, kommen! Aufschlag, bitte! Meanwhile, Enemy armored contacts are cresting along the main uh, the main hill leading from the MSR. We're uh, we're under risk of being flanked and engaged from the side, so I'm going to go ahead and reverse another uh, martyr and use it to deal with the contacts on the side. Join the command martyr. Roger. Fortunately. The BMPs have inferior spotting abilities, both uh, through training and in technology, and I'm able to spot them and destroy them before they can respond. They don't appear to be. They don't appear to be aware of my existence at this time. One thing that this does tell me about those BMPs across the valley is that my other section of recon operators is also in serious danger, and they're also using circles. Roger, cleared hot. Even though that being engaged from all sides, I need to continue to move to try to relieve those. Uh, OP, so I'm just going to get these martyrs into a column and we're going to push on through the breach while the infantry support us. sound from the right flank, the heavy machine gun fire of the Ready to engage. Uh, BRDM. It's firing at something, Roger. but Clear at this point I'm not sure what, because uh, the recon forces there have not been engaged. At a tech position, the rest of the target. 
moving up the section of overwatching martyrs uh, to the wall. Crashing from Roger, cleared hot. Now the main body of my forces is beginning to arrive. These are the ones that are not supposed to be spot, uh, spotted by the Syrians. Basically, I'm supposed to be using my recon forces and uh, the observer section to sort of uh, spoil the Syrian attack. The rest of my forces are supposed to be undetected, but undetected at this point, mission. I've just disregarded that mission uh, objective. I'm no longer interested in it. I'm more interested in preserving my force. Roger, en route to attack position. So I'm just going to go ahead and sally them forth to attack. Ready to engage. Right now, I'm most vulnerable in the center, where I have a very, where I have really a non-existent um, force there. Nothing that is capable of stopping enemy from rolling down the MSR. Um, one of the main reasons why I did divide my observer groups like that is because I thought that my friendly forces would be coming down the MSR. But it sort of makes sense that they're coming away from the MSR because the backstory of this mission is that the Syrians think we're coming down the MSR, but we're actually attacking from the flank and then circling them. So, back here on the left flank, we still, those two martyrs are unable to spot the BMP. So I'm not going to risk my martyrs, I'm just going to move them online. Um, they're going to be there for area denial, and then the two infantry sections are going to hunt the BMPs and destroy them. And now we see something horrible. We see a T-72 pressing the hill onto the OP area. Um, that T-72 poses a huge risk to my forces. Luckily, it has been spotted by forces, and one of my martyrs is able to get off uh, the lawn, which subsequently destroyed the contact. And again, this is sort of the importance of having overwatch maneuver by fire. Um, if that overwatch, if that section of martyrs was not an overwatch, that tank would have killed my entire attacking force. Especially if the other platoon didn't arrive when it did, and I just had that one platoon there. So another platoon has arrived. Uh, this platoon I'm going to use for center security. They're going to be moved to the center, uh, and they're going to block the MSR so the Syrians can't attack down it. dismounting the command teams here because I don't want uh, the battalion commander to be KIA um, when involved in an armored fight. So after looting all the Panzerfaust from the martyr cargoes, I'm going to be moving the infantry out. They're going to probe um, the position there. And then I'm going to put the martyrs up on the line.
progressing from target. And we hear again the BRDM heavy machine gun, which I didn't really realize, didn't really notice at this point. And then I was trying to figure out what they are firing at. And I realized, oh, they're they're firing at the dismounted uh, wolf vehicles over here by my Ford observers. So checking the two sec, checking the two uh, teams. Uh, no casualties. And mm, what are they firing at? Oh, they're firing at dismounted uh, vehicles. So the, the team on the right of the screen now is safe. They're in defilade, but the other team is not safe. They're only in partial defilade. So I'm just going to crawl them um, into safety, into concealment. is crested. And a direct all fire onto that T-72. Fearing an enemy breakthrough, I'm going to go ahead and direct. I'm going to cancel the cast run that I just ordered and then redirect it to where that T-72 is. Send by for cast threat. Roger. Careful, Roger. En route to the Uh, I've been, the Syrians surrender in a few moments, but I just want to say I was a little surprised about the outcome. It turned out to be a draw, and I didn't have any casualties. The Syrians didn't spot me, and I killed three of their tanks and 25 armored vehicles, so I'm not sure how I didn't win. Um, all the victory conditions were my, well, they were attributed to me, so... Let's take a look at the score screen. Let me know what you think because I don't know. Very, very strange circumstance. Roger. Clear hot. Anyway, see you next time. Position, ingress to target. 